Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. We have here the ticking sound of a relay. We have this a relay LED flasher and an old relay flip flop. Also, we have here a relay oscillator. Now, since uh, we have this uh, old relay flip flop, I decided to, to revive the circuit with this old uh, circuit. So, what makes this relay uh, sounds like that? A ticking sound. So let us uh, see first our uh, new module. This is our new module, a relay flip flop. We have the LED, 10 millimeter in size, green and red. Two relay, 12 volts. And then a big capacitor here, 4700 microfarad. We also have here the power LED resistors. Also, we have this JB, JDBCC, a jumper from my old uh, computer motherboard. And also, we have this a header. So let's uh, power on the circuit. This is a relay flip flop. alternate uh, lighting of the LED unlike the previous one we have this really LED flasher and oscillator and this uh, old uh, relay flip flop so what make this uh, LED to turn on and off makes this LED to turn on and off with the use of uh, two relays and some components here capacitor and resistor so relay flip flop is uh, started in uh, just a relay oscillator this one is a relay oscillator and then this is a relay LED flasher this is an old relay flip-flop and this one is our new relay flip-flop first to make a relay flip-flop 
let us see the block diagram or I mean the schematic diagram so we have this relay oscillator this is the diagram of the relay oscillator relay is connected this is a previous project previous circuit once the coil is energized using a current making the contact to move to the other pin 4 to 5 making a vibration since this is a little bit uh, That is the sound of the oscillator. Then when you when you connect a collector uh, capacitor into the coil of the relay and then connecting the LED to the other end of the relay, it will become an LED flasher. It's like this one. It's a previous circuit. And since this one is an old relay flip flop, this is the circuit diagram. It's confusing, and so I decided to revive the circuit using this new circuit diagram. We can now examine the current flows in the relay what makes the relay to turn on and off the LED so we have this a 12 volts relay supply and this one is the power LED so at the first the moment you switch on the circuit current flows into the second relay true the common terminal of the relay pin number three because relay has five pins and then three is connected to pin four pin four is now connected to pin one of the relay making this capacitor to charge to the ground then flows back to the ground so at that state capacitor is charging when the time that the capacitor is discharging it discharges through the LED making this LED to light and then when the current flows into the coil it induces a voltage producing a current making this contact to move to terminal 5 making a close connection here so when there's a connection here it will now connect to pin number 5 making a circuit current flows into the other relay the common pin number 3 the common pin and connected the four that is normally closed pin number 4 to the other relay so now this capacitor is charging so it means when the time this is discharging contact moves to the left making a circuit to flow into the other relay charging this capacitor and now the time then to the ground when the time the capacitor is discharging it discharges to the other LED and then to the coil inducing a voltage producing a current making this contact to move into terminal 5 and so 
the current now is flowing after moving to terminal 5 it will now close back to the ground so when this is charging this one is discharging that is the basic operation of the relay I have a uh, make a schematic diagram here with the value of 330 ohms in series with our power LED we have the capacitor here 4700 4, microfarad 16 volts connected to the LED to the ground value of resistor here is 330 ohms and then the coil of the first relay and then this is the second relay the same 4700 microfarad LED re resistor the relays and that's the schematic diagram so when you close the switch current flows to the second relay to the common and then the terminal 4 pin connected to the capacitor resistor charging capacitor now making this contact to move and then making this a new circuit flows into the terminal 3 to 4 charging the capacitor and now the time that the capacitor here is discharging now this one is charging so there is an alternate flashing of the LED it's just uh, charging the capacitor here and discharging the capacitor there I also have this PCB layout I use this jumper or JDBCC as an input I place an input to the terminal 3 and to the supply that is an input line also power supply here so I got uh, an input provision this is the PCB layout so you can hear the ticking sound of the relay the time that the capacitor one is charging the one the other one is discharging that's why LED is having this alternate lights turning on and off let's see seems that the green LED is much brighter than the red one because uh, it has a lesser uh, voltage rating the red LED this one the green LED is I think uh, 2.5 volts voltage rating it has 2.5 volts uh, voltage rating this uh, red LED is just 2 volts or 1.8 both summer this is now our relay flip flop with the help of some components the relays capacitor the charging and discharging action of the capacitor as we have seen in the diagram the power LED And this is the 
actual circuit using two relays to make this relay flip fluff. I'm using much bigger capacitor here unlike the other one, the old one, it's a little capacitor, much smaller capacitor I used. This one has a bigger capacitor, so the change, if you change the value of capacitor to a smaller values, it will uh, make the LED to flash much faster than this. Or you change the value of the resistor, will make the LED to, LED to blink faster. So I choose this value of capacitor because I think this one is a... Uh, that's a nice blinking pattern. So, this is now our module for making a relay flip flop using these components. Thank you for watching the video and uh, stay tuned for more videos regarding relays. This is just a simple relay circuit and in the future we're having a different relay uh, circuit configurations and uh, design. Bye bye!